liberation for Palestine and an end to the ceasefire, whether it is here in the streets, at our schools, at our work, anywhere we have a voice, we will raise it. This is why we created and submitted a petition, which you can find here, which I have more of and will distribute, <laughs> demanding our own city council who have remained shamefully quiet on the genocide being enacted using our own tax dollars Shame. Shame. to raise their voices and demand a ceasefire. I'd like to read the preface to the petition, what will hopefully be in front of our city council with our effort. The Israeli war machine has resumed its all-out assault on Gaza, bringing an end to the temporary pause that was put in place. Now is the time to act to stop Biden and Netanyahu's genocide. That's right. Yeah. Over 17,000 Palestinians, thousands of which are children, have been killed since October 7th. Israel has dropped more explosives on the Gaza Strip than the explosive force of the nuclear bombs the U.S. dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined. Israel receives close to $4 billion a year from the U.S. in military aid. The U.N. has passed hundreds of resolutions calling for Israel to cease its crimes against the Palestinian people and return their land, but Israel is protected by the U.S. The U.S. has the power to force a permanent ceasefire. Sign this petition to call on Portland City Council to pass a resolution affirming the city of Portland's support and solidarity with the Palestinian people and calling for all local federal senators and representatives to act now to end the genocide. <laughs> Cities across the country have been submitting petitions like this one, demanding their representatives actually represent them. Our voices raised together will turn the tide. We will not stop demanding a ceasefire, demanding a free Palestine, anywhere and any way we can. From the river to the sea!